So you're probably thinking about doing RV transport or you're new to RV transport and you're wondering what a load pickup looks like. Guys, we're, we're approaching the yard up here and I'm getting ready to pick up a unit that we're gonna take to Minnesota from these central Indiana yards. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from beginning to end on this load, how we go pick up a load, how we identify what load, how we hook up, all of that stuff. Stick around and let me show you how I do things. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get on the load boards and you're gonna find the load you want. Once you secure that load and you get dispatched on the load, you're gonna get an email that tells you what yard location to pick up. So make sure that you get the correct yard. I know for us, we have a couple of yards in Goshen. We've got a South Goshen and a North Goshen yard. And so that can be kind of confusing. Make sure you're at the right yard for pickup. We're gonna slide in there, go in and get our paperwork and then find our unit. So we picked up our, our paperwork. I didn't show you that. I'm, this is not the yard I thought I was gonna be at. But uh, what we're doing now is we're gonna go down through this line. Let me show you this line. He's down through here looking for our unit number and I'm looking to see where they are at this yard. Usually they're on the tongue. Um, see that unit right there is 504441, which we're looking for a passport. And so I'm gonna ride down through here until I find my unit and then I'll check the numbers on it. So this is passport right here. And there's our unit number, 412068. That's the unit we're looking for. You can see the unit number right, right there written in chart, chalk marker. So we're gonna back up and, and hit this unit right here. I have yet to get to a unit that this was right. So uh, what we'll do is we'll plug in our power cord here. Raise this up. We do not want to smash our cord. So we've got this hooked up, ready to go. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my VIN number on this unit against my paperwork, okay? Because I wanna make sure that my paperwork and this VIN unit match before I do anything else. So next, I'm gonna check my VIN. VIN number matches up, now the real work begins. I like to start with my battery. We just get our battery box over in here. Hopefully these leads are long enough, which of course, they're not. Now we'll put in our load. Now we'll put in our load bars. Our placement for our saddles. So for saddle placement, you want your chain to be upright. And often you run into, there's just enough room here for your saddle to go. So that's where we'll place our saddle for our load bars. So 
So I'm gonna hang three on this load. One, two, three. That means in the fourth. I'll put this load in the fourth loop. And that's too loose. See how that bar is still loose? I'm gonna have to run this in the fourth loop. I'm gonna hang four. One, two, three, four. Much better. Much better. Almost forgot my cotter pin. Check your pins. Pin. Pin. Whoops, no pin. So I've got my brake cable, my breakaway cable attached. And I've got my cord and I run that through my keeper pin on the hitch. Now we're ready to uh, release the load. And I actually put the load on the truck. I'm gonna give the unit a a quick over before I pull it out of here. Get my key for the unit right here. There it is. Just kind of look real quick to make sure that this unit is in towing shape. Then we're gonna pull it out and check the uh, lug nuts. I don't see anything wrong with this one yet. Let's pull it out and get a closer now look. Now we've got our unit pulled out where we can give it a real good look. We can take our pictures, check our tires, put our plate on, and that's what we're gonna do next. Let's put our, our plate on. Got our plate. So I did hook up my safety chains. I went ahead and pulled over to the yard. Um, this trailer has been the most frustrating hookup. Uh, nothing about this trailer went smooth. The blinkers weren't working on it. Um, had to replace some fuses. Uh, it, this, this trailer hopefully delivers easier than uh, it has started. But um, this has been one frustrating trailer to hook up. It seems like everything that could go wrong, the battery wires were too short. Although I've had worse, I've had worse. Um, yeah. But uh, y'all, we're gonna pull this unit to Wisconsin. Uh, so once I got done with my pictures, right, we've got a DMA app that before we uh, load our trailers out of the yard, we take pictures showing any damage that we may find. And then we, we document those with pictures. Uh, even if it has no damage, you take the pictures. So when you get on the other end, um, you, uh, you can show that you didn't damage the unit. Um, so this unit, we took our pictures and then I called the uh, release for Horizon. What we do is we call our release, uh, our yard controller. We tell them what unit we've got, what our BOL is and uh, go from there. And so I've already done that. I've pulled over to where I'm gonna be for the night. And then um, tomorrow we'll pick this unit and take it to Minnesota and be good to go. In Wisconsin, just outside of Milwaukee, uh, getting this unit up to where it needs to go today, you know? That's what we do. You know, probably the best part of this Saturday delivery. It's just a short run, so we're running over to Minnesota. And uh, the best part of this run is it's Saturday in the fall. And I didn't think I was going to miss uh, football as much as I have, but I'm watching a little football or listening to a little football. I'm not watching, but I'm listening to a little football. And um, do you like football? Who's your team? Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, Michigan Wolverines, SEC, baby, SEC. <laughs> uh, go Hogs. So we arrived, and as you can see, I got a little dressed up for delivery because I think 
not looking like a slob is an important part of a delivery. Um, checked in with the reception. They told me to uh, to wait out by the truck, so I'm gonna hang out with the truck, watch some football. Uh, he told me it'd be good to go ahead and drop the load here. So I will uh, lower my trailer, take my bars off, take loose the safety chains and that sort of stuff. Don't forget your license plate on the back. So they told me I could disconnect from the unit and I did. And one of the things I like to do when I pull away from a unit, I just like to ease off the unit. To feel if there's anything I forgot, safety chains, electrical cords, etc. Just get away from the unit just a little bit and then go check. So we took our post unit pictures. And after we got our post uh, post trip pictures, post unit post trip unit pictures done. <clears throat> While I was waiting on him to come outside, I did that. And I went ahead and unhooked and put everything back in the boxes. I got my license plate and I got my battery. A lot of guys forget their battery and a lot of guys forget their license plate. <laughs> so far, I haven't done that. So now, He's going to make copies of my dealer acceptance form and my BOL. And uh, I'm gonna get my copies and then we're free. So I just gotta take pictures of those and send in to the company. And once I send those in to the company, then uh, I gotta find a place to park right here. I think I'm gonna park right here. I'm not supposed to park here. Glad to have that one delivered. Let's see, July, August. Hey, you're not supposed to see me doing this. I'm keeping my paperwork. The copies of my paperwork, I keep one of these pen to, pen to flex files. Keeps up with my DOT file, my permits, uh, any paperwork I have for the unit, BOL copies, all the units that I've done. Um, any information I need to be on the road goes in this one right here. And uh, I put my delivery tickets, my delivery BOLs, the ones I'm working on go in this one. And then once I close them out, they go in this. So that way at the end of the year, my receipts, everything right here is ready for the tax lady. I can pull out that information and make it happen for them. This unit's delivered. Uh, let's go pick up our load to Las Vegas, y'all. See you down the road. Oh, I almost forgot. Arkansas 7, Georgia 0, go Hogs! Woo, big suey! Know that I love you and God bless you all.